thought that I would come on here to quickly kind of let you know what my favorite virtual pods are and kind of a tip if you're someone who just bought one. So stay tuned. Okay. What is up Java Junkies? This is Anna Sari. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hello, welcome. I hope that, uh, you know, you're here to stay. Hopefully. I noticed that during this holiday season, so many people have bought an uh, espresso machine, which is really, really awesome. Specifically, I believe a, a virtual machine, whether this type of model or the next. So kind of still in the same kind of coffee line. It makes me really happy to see other people have the machine as well, because I felt like for a long time, I didn't know of too many people who had it, to be honest. So when I was doing research to buying this machine, I went into a rabbit hole of subreddit that is just like Nespresso, virtual coffee owners, what may. But one thing I took really big note on was that someone suggested to open your sampler box and really take note of how you feel about each pod. I think what is so great of every machine coming with a sampler box is that it doesn't come with every single you know pod that Nespresso offers for the virtual machine but it has a very good variety of what you can expect from them in terms of single origin coffee, espresso, different types of coffee in terms of low intensity or high intensity just kind of a good variety of what they offer something that I would definitely recommend if you just got it for Christmas or whatever it is or you just recently bought it I would very much suggest that once you open it you get everything set up and you open your sampler box try to figure out a way to track how you feel about each one I think more than anything I can almost guarantee that you'll probably love pretty much every single pod that comes in that sampler box, maybe one or two that you might just not enjoy as much, but I think you'll like most of them, but definitely try to take notes some way, like write it down or, you know, take some notes on your phone, maybe anything like write the name of it and write how you feel like, do you, how much do you enjoy it? Maybe from like a scale of one to five, you know, don't make it anything too complicated in the future when you have to purchase more sleeves like is that something that you would enjoy that's something that i did when i got mine i ended up realizing that i really enjoy the single origin coffees i really i can really taste the difference of those something i didn't know before i had the machine or in terms of like my palate and and coffee tasting and it's something i think i probably have evolved during this time but it was something that i definitely noticed that i liked the colombia one and then from there i realized oh like i have to try the the cafe de cuba even the mexico one that is my Tip, pretty much in a nutshell what I want to suggest in this video it is that if you're new to it or even if you're not new to it and you're someone who doesn't know which coffee pods to try or to order or you can't seem to find one that goes with what you like because that is a thing I've gotten questions from people or I've seen people ask who just got a machine like which ones are your favorite and that's kind of I guess subjective is the best way to put it because we all enjoy I think coffee in a different way some people like it on its own some people like it with a little bit of milk a lot of milk um, creamer or creamer and milk syrups and there's just so many ways that you can prepare it so it's really important I think we're gonna have a machine like this and to find out how you're going to really you know be compatible with it what kind of coffees that you're into and then from there figure out like oh I like the, using it this way so this one's probably the best and then going through the sampler box and realizing oh I like the more intense ones or maybe I really like like a latte essentially so you might just go for the espresso capsules like you know just kind of take note of that that being said my favorites are quite a few and even now like I still try different ones because Nespresso seems to be coming out with so many different ones like every so often now which is really amazing because that was one thing that I definitely was kind of worried about because I noticed that they kind of always had the same ones every time like the same ones being offered and I, I find it like refreshing to see that now they're coming out with every like kind of season really it's cool to see that and for me to try different ones as the time goes on but if I had to recommend my favorite ones um, before I do mention them I think I want to give a little bit of a backstory in terms of for me I've realized that for coffee I have a preference for the single origin ones but definitely a little bit more intense not too weak on the intensity level I really want to 
you know, if I add milk to it or creamer or, you know, kind of make uh, iced vanilla latte, so adding syrup, that I can still very much taste the coffee, just a strong coffee flavor throughout, even with that. So that's kind of a backstory and you'll kind of figure out through all the ones that I will suggest are my favorites. You'll see through all of them basically that they are more on the intense side. As of right now and like my batch of capsules that I have, I don't have all of my favorite ones, but I think I'm going to go over the ones that I have now and just go from there. My number one, Melosio or Melozio, this is my favorite one. Like hands down, this is my number one. My number one. I don't remember what what the intensity level is. Let me see, because I want to be exact with at least this one. So this one's actually not that intense, which is very funny to see. This is a six, but for me, it seems a lot more intense than other ones that I've tried, I think. But either way, this is my favorite one. How I like to prepare this one when I use it is if it's a hot coffee, I'm very basic and I like to do almost what is, I guess, classified as a cafe misto. So half coffee, half milk. So sometimes I don't use all the coffee, so then it ends up being a big coffee. Or just, uh, I pretty much always add milk with this one. But this one I can also enjoy it on its own as a black coffee, like hot. And it is good with whatever, you know, if I'm pairing it with maybe like a little bit of a pastry in that sense. I also love this one because whenever I've tried to make an iced coffee with it, you know, add a little bit of vanilla syrup, some milk or you know, a good amount of milk or a vanilla sweet cream on top. It goes really well and it doesn't feel like it's watered down when I kind of let it cool or even if I'm on a rush and I add it over ice. This is like a good even if you don't really like it in time. Definitely recommend this one. After like the Melosio one, this is a Stormio green one. For some reason I realized they don't have the name on them, which is really weird. I enjoy this one hot and in an iced coffee version. I feel like these are almost on the same <clears throat> scale in terms of intensity after that one I would say single origin coffees are my favorite the cafe de cuba it is a little bit more pricier but I really like this one this one is I would say a lot more intense than Melosio this one is really really delicious it's very bold it's strong but not too strong and this one I've never tried it in an iced version but hot it's really good this is like my favorite one I think I that I tried over the summer last year when it came out then it's the Mexico one. This is what I have on hand right now during this time. Uh, this is this one's really good. So these are all coffee ones, so 7.77 ounces. After this one, the Colombia one is also a favorite of mine. I think I would prefer the Colombia one over the Mexico one. This one, in my recent order, was the first time I've tried it actually, but it was really good. Also, Costa Rica one. I've only tried it once, but it was really, really delicious and I loved it. Uh, these, however, I've never tried uh, in an iced version, but I'm sure they would be delicious. For espressos, um, which are the 2.70 ounces ones, the dub double espresso chiaro, this one I think is really strong. Um, so it's kind of great if you're looking for it kind of being a double espresso, but not having to use, you know, like double, I don't know how to explain that. This one I think is really strong and I recently in this order that I where I have these from, um, this was the first time I ordered them, it was a little bit stronger than I thought. I don't know if I would order again in like my next order because I like to do it every so often, like not too crazy like back to back, but every so often. And the espresso ones, the Altesia one, which is the purple one, is my favorite. I think it's perfect in terms of also not being too bold, but also having a very good flavor. After that, uh, for espresso ones, I like the Ice Leggero, or Leggero, Leggero, I think it's Leggero, I'm not sure. This one, and this one was a new one that came out in the summer, and I love that it's now part of like the permanent collection. This is great for an ice latte, basically, right? It's written right there, this is for it to be over ice. I love this one, I think it's also amazing, and I would highly suggest this one, it's, it's not gonna come out weak or too watery in that sense, or just like, even if you do it directly over ice and it gets kind of a weird <laughs> temperature. But maybe I'll make another video on that soon, like maybe my tips and tricks for going about using this machine to make iced coffees. Um, let me know in a comment down below if that's something that you'd be interested in watching for me. So those are kind of the ones I have on hand right now. So the Single Origins, the Melosio, and the Stormio are definitely like my go-to for the coffee-wise. Um, you may or may not know that Starbucks released virtual capsules 
If you didn't know, now you know. And um, basically they're offered at Target and Bed Bath & Beyond. Target, I don't think I would really suggest buying them there because um, I had a lot of issues getting it from there and they don't ha offer all of them. Bed Bath & Beyond, um, definitely check it out there. I don't wanna be telling my secret because I've loved that every time I've gone they have all of them, but I think a lot more people should definitely try them out. And honestly, I was a little skeptical because I thought maybe they would not produce like the crema or the taste would be weird, but I actually really enjoyed them. The ones that I would definitely say are my favorite and maybe my recommendations to you are the Single Origin Sumatra, which is this is the coffee pod, and the for espresso, the Blonde Espresso Roast, which is literally my favorite. Like I already restocked on these because these are so delicious. It's smooth. And it's delicious i don't know what else to say other than that you should definitely check these out these are the ones that are my favorites and if you haven't tried them out definitely try them out because you might be missing out and you didn't even know um, i hope that if you are someone who's new to having an espresso virtual machine this kind of helps you out a little bit if you have any more questions feel free to leave a comment down below or message me on instagram at this is anasari so i hope that you found this video to be somewhat insightful i hope to be bringing to you a lot more coffee content this month this year and so on because you guys have shown so much love to my coffee videos and i feel like i'm finally home in terms of what i want this youtube channel to be i found i feel like i found my family in that sense so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like it share subscribe if you aren't that helps me a lot so i know that you guys are engaged with this kind of content and if you haven't had a good cup of coffee today definitely go make yourself one go buy one just go go treat yourself you may or may not already know but laters